Hey guys, Tarian here. Um, so it's been a while since I made a, uh, <laughs> a strategy game video for some of you that have been with the channel for a long time. You may remember back when I used to do these. But um, today I'm going to be making a video um, about the Age of Empires 4 beta, um, specifically talking about the Holy Roman Empire. Um, haven't seen a lot of people talk about the Civ. A lot of people saying it's bad. Some people saying you know it's really good. Um, I'm of the opinion that it's it's decent. Um, it's definitely not as strong as the, you know like the English or um, the, the English in particular are very very strong. Um, but yeah, I just want to cover a little video. It's a uh, it's a fast castle into knights. Um, you know the <laughs> probably one of the most bread and butter um, build orders from Age of Empires two. Uh, but we're going to be doing a fast castle into knights and then transitioning into a, a combination of knights and men at arms. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire is very strong on heavy infantry, um, just heavy units in general. You know, their lanchkinet, their men at arms, their spears are quite good as well. Um, so we're going to be doing a fast castle into knights and then transitioning into knights plus men at arms. Um, and there's a couple of variations of this that you can do to counter certain strategies, and I'll talk about that when I get into the build a bit more. So I'm going to go to start the game with this bot here on Arabia, one of the best maps in Age of Empires history. <clears throat> I've tried this build out a bunch in 1v1, won a lot of 1v1 games with it today. Um, I'm still refining it um, to a science, but let me just give you guys the general idea. So I open up by doing four onto the sheep, having my scout explorer going to gather other sheep, queue up four vills, two vills build a lumber camp, have one of these vills go off and build a house. Let me turn the game volume down a bit because this, dude, let me tell you guys, this town hall bell, it's quite loud, definitely uh, quite loud. So make sure you don't have any idle time here. I'm gonna go back there. Alright, so what you're gonna want to do is get six villagers onto the sheep. You have two on the wood here. And your next villager at this point is going to be going on the coin. So your first four are going to gather sheep and build a house, and then these two are going to build a lumber camp. They probably should be on this one instead. Um, and then you're gonna build two more onto the sheep, so you're at six on food, six and two on wood, and then you're going to build a lumber or a mining camp and put two onto the coin. Just scout around, pick up more sheep if you can. There's that sheep. Let's make sure we're doing this right. Always wanna keep up villager production, and then once you have um, you know, two on gold here. What you're gonna want to do is your next villager at this point. So you've got two coin, or two on gold, two on wood, six on food. What you're gonna want to do is your next villager is going to come out here and build by the berries. Now you might say, why do you build on the berries and not on the hunt? Because I've seen some people go for a hunt at this point. Well, the reason for that is because we want to keep um, a lot of our resource gathering consolidated for when we build our Aachen Chapel, because we want that 40% gather rate buff to apply to as many villagers as possible. So at this point, after I get the one on the berries building this uh, this mill, I'm going to build two more onto the coin. Um, and then we're going to start saving up for our age up. Let's scout around a little bit more. And you usually want to keep these two on wood the whole time because you want to have resources to make your stable or barracks ready uh, whenever you need, um, as well as keeping up houses. So we've got four on coin here, seven on food, two on wood. From this point, we can just build more onto the wood. Or I'm sorry, uh, more onto the food, not the wood. And we can just wait for our age up. You can try to do a force drop off if you want to try and get it out a little faster. See here. Actually, I might just wait before I build that villager so I can build this. So we go to the Aka Chapel. Make sure you can get as many uh, spots where you would be gathering as possible with this thing. We got a little bit out of time, but we fixed that real quick. So you want to just keep scout uh, scouting around. 
you know, just keep an eye out, get sheep, keep an eye out for the enemy, look for their base. Um, I usually put all four that I had on coin onto the age up wonder. Um, and then from there, I usually will build probably two more vills onto the coin, if that makes sense. So we've got the seven on sheep, one on the berries, obviously, two on wood the whole time. The four from the coin are going to build the age up wonder, and then we're going to build two more onto the coin from there. And the macro will get a bit tricky um, in age two, but we'll talk about that more uh, in a bit. So you want to keep your villagers on the sheep for as long as possible because um, they're going to gather really slowly from the berries. We want to put them on the berries once we get our prelate into the Aachen Chapel because um, when we do that, they will be gathering really fast from the berries. So actually, you can go over here. Actually, no, no, we'll just go to put you on the berries. Okay, so we found the enemy. And you want to make sure that when you hit H2, you have just have exactly or you know almost 150 wood. And the reason for that being um, for your first production building. So let's say for example, you think you're going to get you know minute arms rushed, maybe you'd want to build an archery range. If you think you're gonna get cav rushed, maybe build a barracks, um, or you go stable to stop a, a longbow rush, which is fairly common. Um, with all the British players going around. So as soon as you age up, you should have 100 coin, and from there you're going to build a prelate. So you're going to take all, now that you've got the prelate coming out here in a second, you're going to take all your vills off of the sheep, except for one. I usually keep one on there, just in case, and start putting them on the berries. You're going to want to save up for wheelbarrow. So you've got the seven here on the coin. Um, you've got nine on food, and you're still keeping two on wood. Prelate's out, he is in the chapel. We're still scouting around with our scout, obviously. Uh, not that many sheep on this map, which is unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. So for this one, we're gonna build a stable first since we're going purely just for knights, and you know, we don't think we're gonna be pressured in H2 too, too, too badly by the AI here. So we're gonna build a stable um, with one of these villagers. And make sure you're not getting housed. You should be able to keep up constant production of your houses and everything. Um, with this build order, so I would not be too worried about it. There's our enemy scout. Let's go ahead and bring these sheep back home. And make sure you're keeping as many villagers as possible within this buff, because this is 40% gather rate, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure that the buff from this is the same as the prelate. So that is a massive gathering buff, and it's a huge boost to your eco that you want to be cognizant of. So from here, you're just going to gather up this food and coin, constantly producing villagers onto the berries. Get wheelbarrow when you can. And now here, let's say for example, you're playing an English player, right? At this point in the game, about six and a half minutes or so, you might have some longbows poking in here. If you go with the stable first, which I would generally recommend against the English, um, you can start pumping out some horsemen. Um, it will delay your age up just a bit, but three horsemen can really you know, deter a longbow push um, from the enemy. So it's really good to keep that in mind. Now, again, let's say you're facing a Chinese player and he's doing like a cav semi, um, semi fast castle or something. Um, I would probably go with a barracks and build some spearmen instead. Um, you want to try and build units in H2 that um, cost wood. I'm not too sure if there's any units that cost coin in H2, um, but if there are, uh, try to keep that in mind and avoid building them. So you see here we've almost got enough resources for our age up. Let's try to see if we can force enough res out here. Almost. Oh, there we go. So we're going to go up with the Regnitz, I think that's pronounced it. Yeah, Regnitz Cathedral. Um, I do the same thing that I did before. I take all my villagers off the coin and put them, on, put them on there. And then whenever I have some food here, there we go. I'm going to build two more villagers onto the goal. Now, when you're in transitioning, um, or in the transition from age two to three, there's a couple things you need to keep in mind. You need to start looking around for your relics are, because um, relics are a really big part of the Holy Roman Empire's gameplay. So you see we've got relic here, relic here, relic here. So we've got really good relic spawns here. And this is, uh, this is huge for us because that means we're going to be able to garrison our relics and our Regnitz Cathedral much faster. 
So after you build the two onto the coin from this point, you, usually in transition I like to have two on coin, you're going to start building villas onto the wood. And the reason for this is so that you can build production buildings as well as produce more houses. Let's go ahead and start getting some of these sheep here with these villas. And what I like to do is, let's just take him over here. I like to take one and go on a hunt because I like to uh, hold off on switching to mills, especially at this point because you don't have that much um, that much wood to work with. So you see we've aged up to H3 with the Regnitz Cathedral, first night in queue, sub nine minutes. This is really good for us. Um, you know, we've got wheelbarrow. We can start getting some of our other eco upgrades like our wood cutting upgrade and mining upgrade if we want to. Whoops, we got an idle billy. There we go. So I like to go for a hunt and get a mill out there because hunts can be really nice. Um, really nice food and it helps us, it gives us a little more time to start saving up wood for our mills. Now you see here we've queued up another prelate. Sometimes what I like to do is just take the prelate out of here and go um, gather relics. Um, it's really honestly up to personal preference. Um, you usually want to build two though, or you want to have two, one inside and one out gathering relics. So you see here, this one's going to go out and gather some relics. First night is out, make sure you're constantly producing knights. And now here you can kind of decide whether or not you want to go full on into knights. So let's say maybe if you're fighting an English player that's spamming longbows, or if you want to drop a barrack. So here we're going to drop another stable, so we'll go double stable. Move some of these vills from the sheep off onto this hunt. And when you build a hunt, you want to always get survival techniques because that's a really good upgrade to have um, with your uh, with your vills out there. Whoops, there's a nice little vill out there. Let's send them back there. So you see here we've got our prelate getting the relic, bringing it back. This is big. This is going to give us a lot of coin, and this is where the HRE is really going to explode in the gameplay. So let's put you on a wood here. So you can start getting some of these upgrades, you know, the wood cutting and mining upgrade. I would highly recommend. Um, start producing out of both of these. Make sure we're constantly keeping up our food. So we've got some men at arms here from the enemy. Gonna bring them back, and we should be able to stop these with our knights plus TC fire. Shouldn't be too bad. You always want to make sure you're not housing yourself. So always be throwing up houses. Yep, looks like we took care of those men at arms there pretty well with our knights. So we're going to keep building vills onto the wood here. We've got a really good economy between our hunt, which we can defend with our knights, and our coin mine. Coin mine is, of course, within the range of the Aachen Chapel. When you transition to mills, this is really important. When you transition to mills, you want to make sure that all your mills are within the range of the Aachen Chapel. If you've played Age of Empires 3 and you're familiar with like the Carni Mata, it's very similar to that. I would highly recommend that you keep as many vills gathering within the range of this thing as possible. So you see here, we've got our knights out, you know, sub 12 minutes, we fought off a little push, we've got a hunt here, we're gathering and constantly building vills onto the wood here, pumping knights out of two stables, which is big. Um, we can drop a racks here if we want, we can drop um, an armory and start upgrading our knights, we can... Um, drop an archery range, you know, we can, we have a lot of options here. So now that you're building vills onto wood a lot, you're going to want to be ready to swap to mills. Um, so, you know, when this hunt expires, you should have enough wood saved up to swap over to mills. Um, so yeah, um, you can push with your knights, you can do whatever you want, start slinging your teammates, and oh, we got another push here from the enemy. Let's get back. But you see how much uh, gold I'm gathering here? I'm already like floating so much gold. You know, 825 a minute. You no, know, I've got just one relic in there. Um, honestly, my micro there was pretty bad, but yeah, this uh, this prelate should be out getting as many, many relics in here as possible. And it's like having a factory. Like it's honestly just so many resources. It's insane. Like you will be floating so much coin. I guarantee it. And it's going to give you a lot of options. And um, like you see, like even with the amount of bills we have on food versus coin, we're just producing so much more coin than we are food. So you can kind of do whatever here. Um, it's up to you. You have a lot of options. The HRE is really strong with infantry. 
They are very, very strong infantry, so I would recommend that. My personal favorite comp so far has been a mix of knights, men-at-arms, um, maybe some lanchnets if you're floating a lot of coin, um, and then throwing some mangonels and whatnot uh, within that. So a mix of, obviously, every army you want some artillery. So the main force of your army, in my opinion, should be knights, men-at-arms, a couple lanchnets here and there, and you're constantly just... You know, booming from here, you can, you know, start saving up to get another TC, gathering some stone, you know, you have a lot of options you can do here. So I hope this helped you, I hope this helped you guys out a lot. Um, HRE is a really fun civ. Uh, I know a lot of people say that they feel underwhelming. Um, they're not underwhelming in my opinion, they're just very, very tricky. Um, so I hope this helps you guys out, and I'll see you guys next time.